Today, I want to tackle the shoreline, the AC power that will come in from outside. Uh, what this will do is this will give me the ability to plug in at any 15 amp receptacle and be able to charge my batteries or run any 110 AC appliances from inside the van. I've got this distribution box set up here. It's pretty nice. It's uh, called a yellow jacket. I've got it temporarily just plugged in to test everything, but it has a 15 amp circuit breaker. It's got two USBs and four receptacles. This is going over to the uh, onboard AC to DC charger that keeps the batteries going. And this, the green line, will go up to the receptacle that will be under the cabinet. And that will uh, power a set of receptacles and a USB up there as well. So this is kind of a pretty easy way to do it. Uh, what I'll be putting on the outside is this bad boy right here. Let me show you what that looks like. This is pretty nice, and it goes right along with the KISS method, you know, the keep it simple, stupid. But this is a really nice watertight receptacle, and it'll come in somewhere right here. Let me show you where that'll be on the outside. Okay, what we will see is this right here, and that's going to go somewhere in this area right here. scary part, of course, is drilling a hole through the outside of the van. But it's got to be done. All right, you can see we got it marked. And got the pilot hole drilled. And you can see there's a second mark there. And what that'll be for is this receptacle. This is the outside plug for the portable solar panel. That way we can park the van in the shade and run a cable out with a panel, portable panel out in the sun, and that way it'll keep the van cool, but yet we'll still be able to get 100 watts of solar. So let's see where that came through on the outside. That's just about where we want it. So we'll do the scary part now, drilling the big hole. All right, here goes nothing. Got to get all the holes lined up even for the gasket. And we got to get it straight. We'll mark where the hose go. This one needs to be a little further out. This one a little further in. This bad boy's just about right. So now you can see, got the same amount of metal on each of them. Now we'll pre-drill those. And we'll get a little bit of silicone, 100% silicone, to put on this rubber gasket. Even though it's a rubber gasket and it should push down good and tight, my concern is it only has three hoes to hold it. You're not going to get a real tight, flat smash of this rubber gasket with only three hoes. So I want to give it a little bit of extra by adding a little bit of silicone on it to make damn sure that that's not going to leak.
Okay, it comes with black self-tapping screws. So all those are going to do is just put it in the exact spot that I want them. These look like they're probably stainless, so they won't rust. Here's what I'm using. And to me, it's always important that it's 100% silicone. That tends to work the best. What I'm going to do is just put a small bead right along here. Now we just have to line it up. Put a screw in. Key is hitting that pilot hole. Okay. Never tighten them until you get them all in. Pretty straight. This is good. Not only is it squishing out a little bit of silicone, but it's also squishing the rubber gasket out a little bit as well. So that means we have got a good, tight, solid fit. Let's take a stand back and take a look here. pretty good. Now we got to put the second one in. So I put this up here and got it pretty much where I wanted it, where it looked good. And then we'll just mark it. That's where it should go. And in the center of that, we'll drill us a hole. Trying to walk on me. Okay, now let's go in and take a look inside and see what it looks like. Okay, there's where we originally thought it would come, but it's a little bit lower, which puts it right in line with that, which is exactly what we wanted. 
All right, back outside. Now what we'll do is we'll just gradually increase. The size of the hole till we get to the biggest that the drill will work with. Okay, that's a quarter inch hole. But if you look at this, it's gonna have to be probably somewhere around five eighths. So what I'm going to use next is a bit called a step bit. What this has on it is just gradual steps up. I think I'll start with this one. It goes up to seven eighths of an inch. And now you know what? I don't wanna take a chance of getting too big of a hoe. So I'm going to use this one, which only goes to three quarters of an inch. And then we'll just drill it in. I'll show you how it works. Okay, it's really crucial that we don't get any bigger of a hole than what we need. Now there's one. There's another step. There's another one. We're going to go one more. Now let's look and see how much bigger we need to get. And it looks like at least one more size. this it's got a lip and I need that lip to be inside so we're gonna have to go at least one more notch up slips right in there that looks pretty good so what you'll have is your shoreline for your AC, your 110 volts, and this will be for the remote or portable solar panel. That's not bad. We're gonna do the same thing as we did on the other one, put a little bit of silicone, and then probably pre-drill it and use the screws that were given to us, provided with the, the receptacle. And now on this one, since there wasn't a rubber gasket provided, you can see we put quite a bit more silicone on it. If it didn't have that lip, I would go uh, use uh, what's called putty tape on it. But because it has that lip, and it's a good snug fit, you can see the silicone came out. After the silicone dries, I can take a, after I get it screwed in, I can take a knife and trim the excess off. This is the company that this receptacle came from. And uh, of course they're all available on Amazon. And as always, I'll put the links in the description below so that if you guys are interested in picking these up, you can uh, go ahead and use my link, part of the uh, associates program. And that helps support the channel. We'd really appreciate it. So, we should be able to take these four screws, slip them right into those pilot holes.
first one didn't go in very well. But these are doing real well. Alright. That should do it. Like I said, as soon as this dries, we will take a knife and cut that away. And that should have it. All right, and that, we are 90% done. Now what we have to do is we have to take the yellow cord from the yellow jacket there and plug it into this. And then down here is a 10 gauge cable, which is the same size as this receptacle. And that will run over to the charger control, the solar controller on the other side. Okay, so for the that. solar, it's got a wire coming from the charger, the uh, solar controller, and I went ahead and put one of these ends on. And because I'm going to run this in behind here and out right there, I went ahead and put some wire loom on it to protect it. And then we will just plug those in. And there you have it, the finished product, all set up and ready to go and a sneak look at what our probably our next video will be is the complete electrical setup but for now we've got this completed and everything seems to be working good so thanks for watching hope you enjoy this type of uh video and we'll see you on the next one later <laughs>